God is bigger than any problem, than any situation that you may have. It makes no difference what it is. It could be in your health. It could be in your finances. It could be in your merits. God is bigger. The Bible says that all things are possible to him who believes. So what do you believe? Don't get in the fear. Don't get in the unbelief. If it lines up with the word of God and you believe it, then it must come to pass. And what is God's will? His will is his word. So if it lines up with the word, take hold of it by faith. We already know the word says by his stripes, we are healed. We already know the word of God says that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So all we have to do is just pray about that situation, give it to God, and then thank God that it's already done. Now we have to walk by faith and not by sight. We can't be moved by what we see. We can't be moved by what we feel. But once we pray and thank God, we know that it's already done. Now, confession has to line up with what we just prayed. We can't pray one thing and then be confessing another. We can't pray one thing and then be constantly complaining about the thing we just prayed God for. Once we pray and thank God, we have to know that it's already done and our speech, our actions has to line up with what we just prayed about, with what we know is already done. We can't go by the senses. We can't go by what it feels like, by what it looks like. We can't go by the senses. Faith perceives as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. But the Bible says that if we have faith, then we have the title deed to the thing we just prayed about as long as it lines up with the word of God. So get out all the doubt, get out all the fear, get out all the unbelief, get in the word, get into prayer, but know, but know that all things are possible to him who believes. Whatever the problem is, whatever the situation is, you can be going through the worst situation in your whole entire life. The Bible says that when Paul and Silas was in jail, it says at midnight, they prayed and sang praises unto God. And when they prayed and sang praises unto God, why were they singing praises unto God? Because they know when they prayed, it was already done. When they know they prayed that God heard their prayer. And the Bible says that if we pray according to his will, he hears us. And if he hears us, we, he, we know we had a petition of what we asked for. So the Bible says that they prayed and sang and gave praises unto God. And when they prayed and sang, there was an earthquake and the prison doors opened. So they got what they prayed for immediately. But they didn't go back. They didn't pray and then get into depression. They didn't pray and say, oh, well, I'm still in jail looking at the circumstances. No, they received when they prayed and they sang and praised and gave thanks unto God because they knew it was already done. So it makes no difference how bad it looks. It makes no difference how you feel. You have to go on the word of God alone. That's why the Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Come on now. We walk by faith and not by sight. To be carnally minded, to be controlled by your senses, the Bible says it's death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It's life and peace. God promised to keep us in perfect peace as long as we keep our minds stayed on him. Isaiah 26 and 3. So we just pray about it. We give it to God. We receive it. We thank God for it. And we just continue to hold fast to our confession. We continue to hold fast till our, of our praise until it manifests in the natural. Because when we pray, we know that it's already done if we prayed according to the word of God. Come on now. Faith does not move God. It's already done. God has already moved before the foundations of the world. Faith puts us in position to receive what God has already done. Because if we're not in faith, it's like actually calling God a liar. If God said by his stripes, you were healed, 
and you don't believe that, it's like you're calling God a lie. God said that you would heal. It doesn't matter what the problem is, what the situation is. It's been some attack of the devil on your health. So you have to get the word and speak healing scriptures. You have to get the word about that situation and know what the truth is. Now, with certain scriptures you can find that will tell you maybe how the devil got in. Could have been unforgiveness. Could have been strife. Could have been fear. And you got 1 John 1, 9. The Bible says that if we are faithful and just to confess our sins, he is faithful to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So you say that, find out where the enemy's been getting in, close that door, give it to God, pray about it, stand on the word, and it must come to pass. Makes no difference what it is. Makes no difference who said what they said, some professional, what, whatever it is. God of word, God's word is true. The Bible says, let God be true and let every man be a liar. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. So stand on the word, stand on the promises of God. The Bible says that God cannot lie. He cannot lie. Titus 1, 2. Glory to God. So I pray this word was a blessing to you. I pray that all is well in your life, in your health, and in your finances. And until the next video, God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.